Hey everyone, it's Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson, and we've got another video for you today. And this one is on Boeing. They're revealing a deep space gateway that humans will use a stepping stone to Mars. This should be good. It's written by Jeff Parsons. Wonder if there's any relation to Jack Parsons. I doubt it, but hey, doesn't hurt to ask, does it? Let's go on to this. So here we go. Nice big picture. Yes, this is Mars. And uh, NASA. All right. Now, thanks, NASA, for that picture. That's just beautiful. Is that a real picture? Don't think so. How is it that they never, ever produce real pictures? You know, they just keep showing this over and over and over to reinforce. That's Mars. We told you so. Believe us. We would never lie. Would we? No. We love you. We, we want the best for you. We want to tell you about your reality and where you come from. Listen to us. We're your authority. All right. Let's get into this here, shall we? And uh, yeah, had enough of that picture, I'll tell you that. Boeing has taken the wraps off a new type of spaceship that could act as a halfway house between Earth and Mars. Oh, called the Deep Space Gateway. It would hang about on the far side of the moon and act as a docking station for spaceships on their way to the red planet. Wow, that's just so convenient. It would be on the far side of the moon. Obviously, the part what we can never verify with any of our technology. Hey, grab a camera. We only see one side of the moon, don't we? That's right. We're told we can't see that other side. We've got, uh, well, they show us things like this, <laughs> right? Come on, seriously. That's what we see. That's where this little docking station is going to be. Good to know. Good to know. So uh, let's continue on. It would allow ships to refuel and resupply before beginning the grueling mission to Mars. Oh, it's grueling, all right. Grueling because it can't even happen. Boeing says it hopes to launch the habitat in four different parts through NASA's powerful space launch system, SLS. Ah, there we go. Nice little picture there. So there's the Earth. There's the moon. And there it is. Oh, that's a nice rendering too. Man, they, they got quite the artist team at NASA, their pictures. Only problem is with that little picture, I don't know if that looks like the far side of the moon. Kind of looks like the moon to me, but uh, apparently it's got the same features as the other side. But uh, anyways, let's continue on. This is Boeing's new spaceship. Okay, that's it right there. They've already got it, you know. So they can't show us a picture of it. They just got to show us a picture with the moon and the earth rather than just showing us a picture, you know, in the factory that they're building right now. But uh, thanks for that, Boeing. Great to know. We'll take you at your word. And then we've got this little beautiful rendering. There it goes. Look at that. Whee! We're going to Mars with our solar panels. <laughs> All right. Using solar panels to get to Mars, and yet uh, solar technology is not even, even remotely close up to scale um, currently as far as powering much of anything uh, here on Earth. Um, but uh, yeah, there it goes. Look at that. Massively expensive stuff. Um, I'm thinking that they should maybe put their uh, super-powered Duracell, you know, 50-year battery that they have in the Mars rover. You know, maybe they can just put that into one of these units so they don't even need, you know, solar panels. They could just energize and use that to go to the moon because they have this super powered technology with, uh, you know, of course, with their batteries. Only problem is we don't even have technology to give us a battery that lasts longer than five days for our cell phones. Hey, NASA, wondering if you could give us at least uh, maybe a five week battery. You know, we don't even need a five year or a 50 year battery that you have to, you know, power your stuff. Just give us, you know, a five day you know, battery, maybe, you know, that, that would that would be cool. But no, they just continue on with all this nonsense that they say they're on Mars. And what do they detect all the time? We found water on Mars. That means that there was life at another time on this planet. We've confirmed it. Therefore, contact will be made soon and we will find extraterrestrial life somewhere in the universe. After all, space is the final frontier. Interesting, really. The ability to simultaneously launch humans and cargo on SLS would allow us to assemble the gateway in four launches. Oh, okay, Pete. Pete's telling us that they're going to do it as early in the, the early 2020s. All right, all right. Mark it on your calendar, everyone. We're, we're going to see this sucker flying around. They're going to be showing this picture, but moving. So get ready to remember this. Just remember this, because it's going to be that 
moving towards Mars. And that's going to be the picture that they're beaming back, you know, millions of miles away. But anyways, let's continue on. Using solar panels for power and deep space gateway would support critical research and help open opportunities for global government huh, or commercial partnerships in deep space, including lunar missions. Oh, nice to know. But they're going back to the moon, like they always say, I guess, in the 2020s. But supposedly they're flying people around the moon next year. Is that is that the case? Yeah, we keep hearing this. If you actually start looking into it, you can go back, you can go over this, you can see time and time again, you know, they keep telling you where they're going and, oh, we're having problems and our rockets aren't working and we're having mal malfunctions and, yeah, we don't know what's going on. Oh, our cameras are, are cutting out at crucial moments. Sorry, we can't show you everything. So, you know, take our word for it, though, please, because... You know, we would never, we would never ever lie to you. You know, this is the, this is the thing that we get told all the time. So let's listen to this. NASA's new space launch system will enable these proving ground missions to test new capabilities. Uh huh. Okay. Missions to Mars will rely on Orion and an evolved version of the SLS. Hmm. Okay. That looks real. That looks really real. Yeah, okay. With Orion and our heavy lift space launch system, we're gonna send humans into space farther than they've ever gone before. Hmm, good to know. All this right. This year's Orion test flight will be the most aggressive for a human spacecraft in more than 40 years. Apollo. So let, now they're saying they're gonna go further than they've ever gone before. So let's just discount the moon, okay? Because in the 1960s and 70s, anyone that believes they actually went there, you know, with the technology they had, Give your head a shake but let's just discount that but since then you know the first that they've gone is about 400 miles so you guys haven't gone too far what's up with that tech you know technology is not uh, doing too well for you eh? i'm not sure what's going on there but uh, you're up there in the iss 250 miles high and doing all this research that hopefully one day you know you can go to moon the mars and beyond you know this is your own words of course you got the orion uh you know trial under fire where it's, hey, um, yeah, we're still trying to figure out the uh, Van Allen radiation belts. We got to have some pretty good shielding to go through that. I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but we're still working on it. We're testing new things. We're in the ISS. We're working hard in our khakis and golf shirts, and we're, you know, getting everything together. So hopefully one day we can go through that, that darn Van Allen radiation belt. Darn. If only those, uh, you know, Apollo astronauts knew about it, then, uh, you know, but wait a minute, they did. Oh, yeah, but they just sped right through it. You know, just punch the gas on the rocket, drive right through there. You're good. Radiation won't affect you at all. Don't worry about it. So maybe I'm going to get a memo to them and tell them that, hey, you guys don't have to worry about a thing, all right? You just step on the gas, punch that rocket, get a turbo, maybe a turbo rocket. Just turbo it right through there. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no radiation. You're good to go. Happened before I was born. So this for our generation will be uh, the exploration missions that we get to see in our lifetime. A fleet of robotic spacecraft and rovers are already on and around Mars. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Increasing our knowledge about the red planet. All right. So there's the rover on Mars. So anyone believe that's real? No. That's uh, another rendering. And the footage they're showing from Mars. Actually, you can start looking this up and see that uh, there's some places in Canada that look pretty similar to the footage they're shooting with Mars. Hey, add a red tinge on it. And there you go. Look at that. So believable. Look at that rover, eh? Remind you of any movie? And paving the way for future human explorers. Future missions seeking signs of past life will demonstrate new technologies that can help astronauts survive on Mars. Did you catch that? right looking for past life again understand that there is an agenda here there is a deception there's something they want to convey to the world that you know they're desperately looking and they will find it and i'm curious to know how many people are what they're going to do with that information once it's been confirmed by nasa look at our renderings look at our cartoon we're going to show you the cartoon life form that we found and we're going to see this cartoon come out see that's see that's it that's it we'll be like that's not a real picture though no i know but just trust us trust us okay we do good cartoons we do good renderings that alien that martian is real 
Look at it. It's trying to communicate to us. What's that? What's that? Oh, they came. They lived. And they have been part of this entire, you know, civilization. They're saying 18 billion years. They're one of the oldest life forms we know in the universe. This is amazing. We're going to celebrate. Maybe we'll bring one of these guys back. And uh, yeah, how does that fit in the whole thing? But uh, anyways, but again, they will continue to tell everyone this is what's happening. You know, trust us. Don't question us. And by the way, anyone that's, you know, coming against this or even questioning how dare them, how dare them. That's awful. Don't listen to people like that. We have all the technology. We're good people. Don't worry about us. Again, be really highly suspicious of this stuff. Look into it and, uh, you know, go from there. But uh, again, this channel is all about exposing the world's lies. Celebrate truth. Blessings. Talk to you soon. Wow, that's just so convenient. It would be on the far side of the moon. Obviously, the part what we can never verify with any of our technology. Hey, grab a camera. We only see one side of the moon, don't we? That's right. We're told we can't see that other side. We'd get, uh, well, they show us things like this, <laughs> right? Come on, forever produce real pictures, you know? They just keep showing this over and over and over to reinforce, that's Mars. We told you so. Believe us, we would never lie would we no we love you we we want the best for you we want to tell you about your reality and where you come from listen to us we're your authority all right let's get into this here i wonder if there's any relation to jack parsons i doubt it but hey doesn't hurt to ask does it let's go on to this so here we go nice big picture yes this is mars and uh nasa all right now Thanks, NASA, for that picture. That's just beautiful. Is that a real picture? Don't think so. How is it that they never... Shall we? And uh, yeah, had enough of that picture, I'll tell you that. Boeing has taken the wraps off a new type of spaceship that could act as a halfway house between Earth and Mars. Oh, called the Deep Space Gateway. It would hang about on the far side of the moon and act as a docking station for spaceships on their way to the Red Planet. Oh. Hey everyone, it's Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson, and we've got another video for you today. And this one is on Boeing. They're revealing a deep space gateway that humans will use a stepping stone to Mars. This should be good. It's written by Jeff Parsons.